welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic blank database template from scratch. Today's question comes from Robert from Mexico City, one of my gold members. Robert asks, I see in a lot of your videos you start off with a simple blank template. I too build a lot of new databases from scratch. How did you set that up? Any tips? Well, yeah, let me show you exactly how I set this up. I have a template already on my website, a customer template you can download. And I cover how to set up a basic brand new database in my full access beginner level one class. That's also free on my website and on YouTube. But let me go through the steps and show you exactly what you have to do to set up a blank template that you can then use to build new databases from. So you don't have to keep making the same changes over and over again to the same database template. Let's begin by opening Microsoft Access and selecting Blank Database. Let's give our database a name. I'm going to call this my Blank Template. And select where you're going to put it by clicking on this little folder button here. I'm going to pick my desktop over here on the left. I like to put databases that I'm working on on my desktop. Then when they're finished, I'll move them to the server location. So just pick Desktop for now and hit OK. We've got our Blank Template.accdb. Hit Create that'll open us up a blank new database. Now one of the things I don't like about the default access settings is that they start you in tabbed view. I don't like tabbed view. I like the classic windows view, the overlapping windows. So that's the first thing I'm going to change. I'm going to close that tab for that table one. Let's go to file and then options. The access options window appears. Go to current database. Pick overlapping windows right here. I don't like tab documents. I don't like the way they look and feel. That's the way that Microsoft is promoting it now, but I like the old classic overlapping windows. Hit OK. It says you have to close and reopen the database. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. In this case, I'm going to close it and reopen it. All right, there's my blank template. Open it back up again. Now for my blank template, I'm going to create three different forms. A single form, a continuous form, and a menu form. A single form is the access form we all know and love. It's got one record per page, and you can navigate through the different records with the little navigation buttons. A continuous form is like a list form. It shows you a bunch of records on the screen at once, and you can scroll up and down it. And then a menu form is simply a blank form with no data in it and just a bunch of buttons to navigate to different places in the database. That's how I like to get around. So let's start by making our single form. I'm going to go click on Create. Now, if your menu is collapsed like this, just double click and that'll stick the ribbon open. So Create, Form Design. There's my blank form. They don't usually need to be this big. Access makes them pretty big. I'm going to shrink that up. Maybe make it about yay big. That's about as big as most forms that I build are. Right about there. You can, of course, make them bigger or smaller, depending on your needs. I'm going to give it a little splash of color. So let's go to Format. Click on the background here so you're in the detail section. Go to the background fill color here and pick something like a light blue. All right, that looks good. Now in this form, I'm going to create two text boxes. There's no data in it, but this gives me a start for when I make text boxes later. Two of them because I usually have an ID, which I make gray because the user can't change it, and then white for all the normal ones. So I'm going to pick one text box and drop it right about there. I'm going to change this guy here so it says label. And then make it about as big as you think you're going to need it to be, like that. Okay, and then see how it's not quite on the grid? I like to make sure these are all lined up nicely on the grid like that. And that's kind of hard to read, so I'm going to make my default label color black. And I like to use the standard colors, not the theme colors. I don't like them changing. Okay, now I'm going to copy this guy, copy and paste. So I've got two of them. Maybe sneak them up next to each other a little bit more. All right, and you could rename this one if you want. Make it say ID. And then take the background color for this guy and make it like a light gray. That just visually tells the user that they can't change that. Now I'm ready when I want to bind this to a table later on or a query. And then all I have to do is change the control sources here. And these are already formatted and ready to go. So I'm going to save this guy, Control S. So I'm going to save this as my single F, my single form. All right, close that. Let's make a continuous form. Now I'm just going to copy this guy, right? Copy, paste, because it's already got some of the work done for me. Make this continuous F. Right-click on it, Design View. I'm going to change the color a little bit, not a ton, just so I can visually tell them apart. Let's go with, uh, let's go with a purple on this one for my continuous form. 
Now the point of a continuous form is that I can see a bunch of records on the screen at once. So I'm going to right click on the detail section and turn on the form header footer. Not the page header footer, the form header footer. There we go. Form header footer. And then I'm going to take the labels, cut them out, control X and paste them up here in the form header and slide them next to each other like this. All right, then we can sneak that up like that, slide the label over here and put this guy right next to it like that. And then we can shrink this up like that. And now what's going to happen is this will show up in rows and columns going down. We have more records in here. A few things I don't like about continuous forms. First of all, let's make this background color for that the same as this. So open up the properties for the details section, double click on it. And then under format, notice there's a back color and an alternate back color. I hate that. It alternates every other row. So I'm going to take this back color here that I selected, copy it, and then just paste it over that one. That way we don't get that annoying alternating colors. And I'm going to also make the form header the same. So just paste over that too. The footer should be the same. There we go. If you want these slightly different, you can. Sometimes this looks nice. Sometimes take your header. Let me get rid of this here. Take your header and make that dark, like a dark purple. And then make these labels white. Sometimes that looks neat too. All right, a little bit of a change. And then maybe your footer, you can make a darker purple too. Like that. That's totally up to you. And of course, you'll change these colors. I like to make things that are related to each other have similar colors. Like all the customer stuff is blue, all the order stuff is green, all the accounting stuff might be yellow, that kind of stuff. Contacts might be you know red. So whatever you want to do, this is just to set up your template. All right, so let's save that. There's my continuous form. If you open these up right now, there's nothing special. There's no data in here yet, but you can see you got all the basic parts. Continuous form, right? This will get bigger when you've got more data in it. You can save the size open like that. But there's no records in here, so you don't see anything yet. Another thing that I like to do, and this is optional. You may or may not want to do this. I like to go into the form properties, and I like to turn allow deletions off under data. Allow deletions, set that to no. Why? I don't like it when users delete records. I like to make a field in my table that says active or inactive. And that way, if the customer is no longer active, you mark it inactive. I just did a video on this, but I like to try to keep my users from deleting data whenever possible. You don't want to delete a customer because then all of his orders are basically gone. Okay, so that's an option. I like to put allow deletion set to no. I'll put a link to that allow deletions video down in the description below so you can check that out if you want to. So I'm going to make allow deletion set to no for this one and for the continuous form. In fact, sometimes for the continuous form, I like to set all this stuff off. Deletions are no, additions are no, edits are no. And that's because this is just for viewing information. Usually you'll see like your list of customers here and you have to pick one and open up the customer form. And that's where you do your editing. So the continuous form, you can't make changes in. But I think for this database, I'm going to leave additions and edits set to yes. Just deletions I'll turn off. Save changes, yes. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing about the continuous form. We forgot to make it a continuous form. Go back into form properties, find default view and change that to continuous forms. That way you get multiple on the screen instead of just the one. All right, now save it and close it. The last form I'm going to make is going to be the main menu form. So I'm going to copy single F, copy paste. We'll call this the main menu F. And all your other menus can be based off of this one. You, sometimes you'll have sub menus, like an accounting menu, an admin menu. All right, but this is the main menu. So let's open this guy up in design view. Again, let's change the color. The, ma the main menu, usually I'll make this one darker and put the stuff on top of it as lighter. So let's make this like a, let's go dark blue. We don't need these on here because we don't need fields because there's no data on the main menu. What I am going to do is go into the form properties under format and we're going to turn some stuff off. We don't need navigation buttons. Those are the little buttons on the bottom to go through the records because there's no records in here. We don't need record selectors because there's nothing to choose. I don't need scroll bars, so turn those off. Don't usually need max min buttons, so we'll disable those. I'll set the caption to main menu. And if you want to, you could drop a label on here. Design labels and put a big label across the top that says main menu. Okay, then we'll make the format a little larger, 24 point, and maybe bigger than that. Let's go 36 point, and I'll center it, and we'll make it white. 
All right, change the font if you want to. Put your company logo on here if you want to. Make it look snazzy. All right, this is your, your main menu. This is the first thing that your users will see. All right, so let's close that. Save changes, yes. Open it back up again, and there you go. Now you can put buttons on here to load up the other forms, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. I want to make this my startup form for my database. So when my database opens, it goes right to the main menu. All right, so go to File, Options, go to Current Database, where we were a minute ago. Now right here, Display Form, we're going to pick Main Menu F. Hit OK. Hit OK, and now close the database down. All right, now I've got my blank template here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to right-click, drag, and copy it over here. We'll just make a copy of it, okay? Because now I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's make a real simple customer database. So customers, customers, I can type today. There we go. All right, leave this blank template alone. Now he's done. All right, put him off to the side. Anytime you make a new database, you can pull him out. But for now, we're just going to work with the customer database. So open that up. All right, now I'm in my customer database. So every good database needs a table. So let's create a basic table, table design. We'll start off with my customer ID. We'll go with a first name and a last name. Real simple, just for class. Obviously, in my full three-hour access beginner level one class, I show you all the different types of fields and how to build tables and queries and all that. This is just a real quick database to show you how to use this template. Okay, and check out that class, by the way. It's three hours long, and it's absolutely free. It's on my website and here on YouTube, too. All right, let's save this. This will be my customer T. I like to end all my tables with T's. My forms with F. Primary key defined, yep. That's the auto number right there. Let's put a couple records in here. All right, we got Rick Rost, Joe Smith, Sue Jones. Okay, save that. Now, let's make a customer form. So take your single form, copy, paste. All right, this will be my customer F. All right, open it up. Now we have to bind the form and the fields inside the form. So go to Design View. Open up the properties for the form. Go to All over here. On the very top, find Record Source. That's the table or query you're getting your data from, Customer T. Okay, it's that easy. Now this form is bound to that table. Now we can bind these fields if you want to. Here's a quick trick. Instead of pr messing with these field properties, watch this. Just go to Add Existing Fields. Grab these guys, right? all the fields up here. Click on the first one. Shift click on the last one. Drag and drop them in here. And I know you're thinking, well, I just formatted these guys. Yeah, watch this. Click on this. Go to Format and use the Format Painter. Format Paint, Customer ID. See that? Click on this guy. Format Paint. Double click on the format painter, it'll stick on, and then go click, click. See, I just format painted over them. Now I don't need these. You could go through the hassle of binding those too, but now I just put these in place. There's customer ID, put a little space in there. All right, slide up first name right there. Slide up last name. These are labels. You want these to look nice. These are field names. I don't put spaces in my field names. Talk about that in Access Beginner 1, too. All right. These guys can be a little longer like that. And then you continue on with the rest of your fields. Slide this up because you don't need it to be that big. And, of course, you'd have all the rest of your fields on here, like address and phone number and all that stuff. All right. Save it. Control-S. Close it down. Open it back up again. And there you can see is your basic customer form. See? There you go. All right, let's close that. How do we get to the customer form from the main menu? We'll open up your main menu, go to Design View. Let's drop a button on here. Command button's right there. Drop it. Form Operations. Open a form. Next. Open up what? The customer form. Next. Open the form and show all records. Next. I like to put text on there. Customers. Customer form, let's put it. Next. And then... What do you want to give it a name, right? We'll call it customer form, button, BTN, and then finish. And there's my customer form button. All right, save that, close it, open up the main menu. There's your customer form. And wherever you move this to, right, now save it, control S, it should open up back in that spot. Access saves the locations of your forms. Now let's make a customer list form. So let's copy our continuous form, copy, paste. I'll call this my customer list F. 
All right, right click, design view, same thing. We have to bind it to the customer table. So go to the record source property, customer T, close that. Same trick, I'm going to add existing fields. Let's bring them all over. Drop them right here inside the detail section. Okay. Let's chop off these labels, delete. And I'm gonna slide these guys right up under here. Just like this. And if you wanna make sure first name and last name are the same size, just put them one on top of the other for a second and then slide them up like that. Okay. I'm going to format paint this guy, click, format paint, drop it on there. These ones are okay. Then I can just delete these two. If you want, let me undo that. If you want to keep these and just change them, all you have to do is open them up and then change the control source property, right? That's first name, for example. But don't also forget to copy that and paste it over the name. That's another reason why I just like to bring them in from there because you don't have to worry about all that, okay? All right, so let's delete these two. We'll slide these up right into that spot there. Copy this label, right? Copy, paste, slide it over here on top of last name. And then we just change the captions. First name and last name. Shrink that section up. Save it. Close it. Let's see what it looks like. Well, let's see what it looks like here. There we go. There's our continuous form. I like on continuous forms where everything lines up to the left. So I'm going to design this guy, click on that, format, and align left. Let's save it, close it, open it back up again, and there we go. Looks a lot better. Let's put a button on our main menu to open up that customer list. So again, we'll go to command buttons, drop it right here. Form operations, open a form, next. Customer list, F this time. Show all the records. Text will be customer list and then customer list button is the name of the button itself. And then we'll put that right there. Okay. There. Save that. Close it. Pop it back open. Hit the button. There's my customer list. Put that maybe right there. And again, you can move it. You can resize it. Set whatever dimensions you like. Now, how do we get from the customer list over to the customer form? I want to be able to pick a customer like that and hit a button. We'll watch this. This is bonus material. Ready? In the form footer, I'm going to put a button. Button, drop it there. Form operations, open a form. Now we're going to open the customer F. Open the form and find specific data to display. Now match up the fields that are the same on both of these forms. Now, yeah, first name and last name are all the same too, but our ID is what we want. So click on ID over here, ID over there. Join them together with that little button. Next, open customer. Next, open customer button. Finish. Now we got a little button down here in the footer that will open whatever the currently selected customer is. All right, close that, save changes, open up your customer list, pick a customer like Sue Jones, and then open customer, and it goes right to Sue Jones. See that? Close that, click on me, open customer. See? And yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. You can filter this, you can sort it, you can make a double click event, so you can double click here and open up the customer instead of having to hit a button down here. I cover all this stuff in my more advanced lessons. But there you go. Now you've got a basic template to start working with. You can work with this as your template if you like this. I like to use the blank that we created earlier because every form I make is usually different. And sometimes for my classes, I'll start with the basic customer form. All right, but we've got a main menu with a couple buttons on it, a customer list, and then a customer form. In fact, we can move this down here if you want to. Save that, see? And that's it. That's your simple, basic, blank database template. If you want to download a copy of my database template instead of building it yourself, go to my templates page at 599cd.com templates. I'll put a link down below the video you can click on to get there. 
and look on the templates page and find the blank database template. There's a couple of other free ones on there, as well as all of my other templates that you can check out. Want to learn more about setting up your blank database template in the extended cut for members? I cover a few more options that I like to change. We'll go into the access options again. I'll show you how to set up a trusted location. We'll talk about some of the client settings and we'll see some of the settings in there like confirmed document deletions and action queries and why I like to change some of these things around. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. If you have a specific problem you need help with, or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.